the spare bag that she will be stowing the cover in for the first of her tasks that's on top of the PMA-3. She'll be uh, attaching that to her uh, body restraint tether. That just means she'll be clipping the bag to herself uh, so she can free up her hands and use to uh, move to that uh, first work location. Now beginning to see the uh, sun rise and illuminate the outside of the International Space Station. Shane Kimbrough should be coming out the airlock shortly. And the uh, label MPM 16 Echo 0103. Copy. Ready to listen. Okay, a warning, uh, do not contact the PMA3 uh, port and forward faces with your EMU TMG for more than three seconds uh, with a pound of pressure. Uh, so you can use your BRT for, as necessary for body positioning and avoid contact with the PMA3 grapple fixture targets, target pins, and shafts. And a reminder that the CBM pedals may not be used as handholds. I think this is the right spec. Copy, and uh, 2289, you'll be looking for P1, and 2260, P2 connectors. Again, our two spacewalkers at uh, two different locations now. We're getting a view of uh, Shane Kimbrough. He can be identified by the red stripe on his thigh. And uh, whenever we get to uh, his helmet camera, he'll be helmet camera designation number 18. Again, Peggy Whitson over on the other side of the International Space Station about to start her task of taking that cover off the top of the pressurized mating adapter. Uh, you just heard Shane Kimbrough uh, getting instructions over on the other side uh, about to drive out the bolt. ...is to lift the cover off um, from the portions where you're taking those straps off and just kind of pull it up. Oh, that's just the tether? Is that the fish string I'm holding? There's, uh, there's a tether, the lid tether, or the lid strap, the yeah. inner lid strap. Oh, yeah. It's what it is. You can see that attached to uh, Peggy Whitson right here. She'll be using that uh, strap to her as she uses her hands to climb over to the airlock. When you're configured or uh, in position, your first step for both of you will be to attach an MWS RET to the AET D rings of the tether loops you created. Yeah, that's, is that the bag RET? Yeah, this is yeah the we're bag. doing the mini workstation one to each shield first. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. And again, as you uh, ret to the AET, um, you're actually going to use the D-ring on the AET and verify your tether to opposite shields. <laughs> 